Welcome to the UN Tool Parade, the teacher-to-teacher -teacher open overview of what EdTech can do for you, coming from the University of Windsor's Faculty of Education. My name is Alicia. And I'm Olivia. And today, we have a showdown between the most popular infographic platforms, Canva and Pictochart. Infographics have become increasingly popular among big business, news outlets, and educators. They're often used to express information, complex ideas, even stats and data, using short text, images, or charts. Canva and Pictochart are both web-based applications in which the users are allowed to create infographics and visuals using the software's templates and graphics. The only thing these platforms require to sign up is an email, which most students have through their schools. Once logged in, they have access to templates, backgrounds, graphics, and more. But this is where the showdown starts. And, and the, the platforms, platforms begin, begin to, to differ. differ. Pictochart guides you through its features using screen prompts the first time you log in, giving you a brief tutorial. The platform's main purpose is to create infographics, though it can be used to create posters, flyers, and even fancy charts, which can range across the curriculum. Canva, on the other hand, wasn't primarily built for infographics. It was originally made for posters, social media posts, and promotional materials. But it's since delved into the realm of infographics and has made some templates that can compete with other infographic software. Canva offers videos that are design guides or classes that act as tutorials that can help your students up their creative game. But can your students download their work as a PDF? How about a PNG or a JPEG? Can they print it out or embed it into a website? Of course, and with the added bonus of no Canva logo in sight, which can't be said for Pictochart, who adds their logo to the end of every project. Canva also lets you add GIFs and videos to your project. They even let you collaborate. You can work together with a peer on a project even with the free version. Well, Pictochart can't do collaboration with the free version, though you can add GIFs and videos too. You can also make charts with live data imported straight from Excel, unlike Canva, where you have to import the data yourself. Well, well Pictochart Canva is, is a, a freemium model, model, which means you don't have to use real money to use it. But you're given more benefits and options if you do. It costs an educator $199 US to get the Pictochart account, and that gives you up to five members. Well, Canva only costs $119 US dollars a year, or you can pay on a month to month basis, which is $1295 US dollars a month. So I guess they're kind of similar as far as their payment structure goes, but Canva has the added bonus of being a little bit cheaper, and they don't limit the amount of people you can have on your account. What about data? Well, you do pay for Canva using the data payment system. When you sign up, they're going to take your username, first and last name, birth date, phone number, profession, and email. But none of this information is shared out with the company. Pictochart does collect the same information. Infographics are a great tool for differentiated learning. Do you want to use the universal design for learning in your classroom? Well, you could use an infographic to express the key idea of a lesson, or have your students make an infographic instead of an essay. You can embed videos, icons, animations, anything in Canva or Pictochart. For students with processing challenge or delays, this can be a welcome change of pace that builds visual literacy. It can also be beneficial for language learners if symbolic communication is more advanced than written. And infographics can be embedded into websites or blogs if students are doing work for the public audience. So overall, Canva and Pictochart get one big apple from the teacher for making a user-friendly infographic platform and inspiring creativity in students while expressing complex information. Pictochart only gets three quarters for privacy. Canva gets three quarters because they do collect a lot of information. Both platforms get a whole apple for differentiated learning because they're accessible to many different types of learners. So overall, Pictochart gets two and three quarters and Canva finishes with two and three quarter apples. Thanks, Thanks for, for talking, talking infographics, infographics with, with us. us. Follow us at hashtag UNToolParade. And remember, this is just our opinion. We'd love to hear what your experiences are with infographic platforms.